of your membership. Your charge is to answer their issues. You do extend yourself into issues that impact the community, and I have spoken out in my past capacity as director of operations representing DFT, going down to Washington for the affirmative action rallies, going up to Lansing to fight off charter schools, going before the State Board of Education and the, and the uh, House Education Committee, testifying about the inequity of funding, not only in Detroit schools, population. So yes, you are truly a political activist, but your main focus is, always has, has been, and always should be in your bargaining unit. From the substitute teacher, to the classroom teacher, to the educational technician, to all 43 classifications within the DFT bargaining unit. That is your primary responsibility. Address your thoughts about Green Dot Yeah, we need to be against it. Green Dot is a charter school. It, it couches itself in the terms of the veneer of uh, being a, a community uh, movement, but it's a money-making venture. They come in and try to convince parents who are desperately seeking better schools that the parents should leave the public schools and go with them as a money-making business. Uh, they have their own union, Green Dot Union or something like that. I forget the actual name. So they try to get this charter school when, in fact, it's, it's really, if, if I use the expression company union, would you know what I mean? It, the, essentially, your, your, your rep, not only your rep, but your president is, is, is working with the, uh, the employer. And that's what it is. And I think we just need to be very clear. They're being championed, or they were championed last winter by the Detroit News, which has been scathingly anti-DFT and is for, openly for, ending Detroit Public Schools' existence. And I just think there is a candidate, I think, in this election, Crawley, who is openly for Green Dot. And I just urge people to be aware of that and understand how that is so detrimental to our future as teachers and our young people's future. We could talk more about charter schools if you feel a need to, but just at the very least understand Green Dot is. I, I think that, that Steve um, answered, answered your question as thoroughly as I could. The only thing that I will add to it is this. Whether you're talking about Green Dot charter schools or any other charter schools, the reality is that the majority of our students in, in Detroit are going to attend traditional public schools. Among the problems that I have with Green Dot charter schools is the same problem I have with other, char our other charter schools, other than the fact that when you do a comparison Detroit public schools in every category with, the, with a couple of exceptions. Their students do not do as well. But here's the other argument that I have against them. The district has lost, I would say, probably somewhere in the area of about 60,000 students to charter schools throughout this area. And often it's a revolving door. You have students, parent finds out it's not, it's not all that it's cracked up to be, or the charter school decides that this particular child, we'll just call him Keith Johnson. Keith Johnson doesn't fit into the mold of what we're trying to do here at ABC Charter. Conveniently, after the fourth Wednesday count is when they make that determination back to Western International, but the money does not come back with him. There's legislation that currently exists that allows DPS to petition for the recovery of that money. But that legislation has absolutely no enforcement arm to it. All you can do is petition. Nothing can compel the neighboring school district or the charter school to return the funds to you. So in essence, you end up educating more children with less money because your money is still based upon your fourth Wednesday counts. So other than what Steve stated, and he stated it very eloquently, my argument against them is the same that I have against other charter schools. I, I, I asked the question specifically because I'm trying to understand what's going on with it. And uh, is it a movement to secede from the Detroit Public Schools? It's a movement. I wouldn't call it a movement. It's not a social movement. It's an effort like education. But, it's but, but do they key in and hone in on specific public schools that they try to bring into that particular? Um, yes, yeah, largely. My, my public education is a, is, a, is a huge industry, to use their terms billions of dollars and they want to cut. They want a big cut. 
their, their problem has been the teachers union, their problem has been the public wants quality public schools, and more and more they're at public education. We can beat them. I think we can beat them up only with political action, as I was outlining earlier, such as uniformity in class size, uniformity in pay scale. That would include the, the, the pension, which the charter schools don't pay into. We can and we make more than they do now. And we, we organize the charter schools, but into a quality contract, not into something where they, the teachers there simply pay some dues. And the, still the education remains low. I think with those kind of quality steps of bringing them up, we can in the school system. That's what we need to lead to. And we're the only group talking about that. It's the only way we can go forward is to recognize the teachers now outside the public schools and try to work together to improve all the schools together. One big union for us all. Right now in Michigan, we have a crazy situation. Two teachers unions, we're just within the existing public sector, the Michigan Education Association and the AFT in terms of merging the two so we can work together. And, and, and get a uniform contract and uniform laws. And many of us were out at the Wayne Westland strike, which is the MEA, and our union could have and should have done more to support them during that fight. And one, one of the, one of the uh, aspects of all of this is the fact that when charter schools market themselves, what is one of the first things that you hear come out of their mouths? The smaller class sizes. So therefore, if a charter school opens and it decides we're going to have 20 classrooms of 20 students each. Then once that 400th student enters that classroom, <coughs> then it's cut off. We don't have that luxury. Uh, I, I just so, want to be clear because I'm, I'm not yeah. you know, voicing support for that. Oh, no, I, I, I understand. You know, specific, a slate running in this current election that is advocating that, like mm -hmm. how is that distinguished since it's rising from the ranks of DMT? Well, well, and, and, and certainly that that was a, a shocking development to me to hear someone from the DFT who was an advocate, an open advocate, an aggressive advocate for the Green Dot Charters. But that's one of the great things about America, one of the great things about DFT. You have a right to express and work towards a dissenting opinion. But you know, one of, the, one of the things that goes along with that, and, and this is where I would like to tout the type of leadership that I have provided, um, even in my absence from the DFT office, when Brother Khan here was unjustly removed from his position, contacted me and I gave them information relative to normal procedural types of things that had been violated that helped to strengthen his case. because. As I've always believed and I've always said, this has never been about me. And if Virginia Cantrell was doing a good job, I would not be running for president. Because as long as the union is doing what we need the union to do, as long as the leadership is providing the direction that it needs to provide, I'm fine. I didn't leave Western International to escape the classroom. I'm not leaving Finney High School to escape the classroom. I'm leaving Finney High School to come to the DFT ship and quality of leadership to which it has become accustomed. When the current executive vice president, who is also running for president, was suspended by the president, again unjustly in violation of our 